Today I want to show you how I got my TMC 2130s to work on the 32-bit Rearm board. I obviously didn't start from scratch. An excellent source is Chris's Basement, which shows you how to get Atom installed on your computer and how to get going and Alex Kenners, who is in-depth electronics knowledge is pretty amazing. So the best place to start is obviously Marlin firmware page. So the first thing I've, I did was to download the latest um, Marlin 2.0 which is for 32-bit. So this alpha version bug fix 2.0. Then on the install page on the web page there are instructions on how to install platform io on atom which chris shows very nicely in his video or you can find the instructions over here and i'm going to go to install marlin on rearm how to do that so there are a few important things that you have to do you have to have an SD card that's FAT32 and it has to have the name rearm and the other important thing is to name your folders Marlin Firmware. So here we are downloaded Marlin bug fix that has to be named Marlin Firmware. Now we can go to Atom and start configuring. So let's open our project okay, yeah open open project so we go to the file the folder that I just renamed Marlin firmware open Marlin firmware before we start with the configuration let's set up our platform IO environment environment for the rearm is called LBC1768 and if we scroll down a little bit we find our um, LPC1768 environment over here to make life easier for yourself what you can do, what you need to do is put in your upload underscore port equals and the drive for your SD card like e colon or whatever your your drive will be so i've already inserted my um, sd card so if we go to the home platform io home and you click on devices and logical devices you should see your rearm uh, sd card over there and you can click copy to copy the the, the device name um, and on Windows, it's like E, E colon or D or whatever. Okay, so when I click um, bold, it's going to run through. And we get our first error. Let's see what it says. It says, Motherboard must be set to RPC1768. So let's go to configuration H. And here's the bit about the motherboard. And this has to be called 14 underscore 3 underscore arm. Let's try and build again. Save and build. When the building little window at the bottom disappears, that means we've made the build, the build was successful. Now we can change a few other defaults. 
So I've got 1.75 filament and I'm going to jump straight to the TMC part. TMC 2130. Right, so, so in the latest Marlin, what you do is you say uncomment your X driver and you can say this is a TMC oops, control V TMC 2130 so in my normal hypercube I've got the X and Y are TMC 2130s and the Z and the extruders are in the extruder they are double eight two fives so we uncomment or we uncomment those and put in the the correct values cool so now if we build this again save and build well it'll come up with more errors and we can see what we have to change Now the bold window has disappeared, which means that was successful. So let's go to our configuration advanced and have a look at our, our set up pins for the TMC2130, the SPI. So control F. Here you can see where we can override the pins for TMC2130, so I've got an, an X pin defined and a Y pin defined. Now I have to replace the minus one with a value. On the Realm page or the Panacut page, it shows you all the pinouts P010 and so on. And what we need is to connect our SPI to this Ethernet GPIO portion of it. So we need to figure out what the numbers to use. So I found this example on the internet that somebody did. So they were, so X CS pin is P101. So you can see P1 P101 is the bottom one on this Ethernet jumper. The Y is CS pin is on P104 and so on. And these other pins, the MOSI, MISO and SCK pins are on P100, P1808, P109. So if we go back to, to Atom, we can type in here our CS pin should be P1, P1 underscore zero 01 for the X CS pin, P1 underscore zero 04 for the Y CS pin. Let's reference our picture again, which is 1 and 4, so X and Y goes over there. Now the next thing we have to do is define these pins. So down here at the bottom it says define TMC use software SPI. So if you want to use your LCD, you need to do this anyway. And comment that. And then we define our MOSI, MISO and SCK pins. To do in here is type P1 underscore 00, P1 un underscore 08, P1 underscore 09. Let's reference our image again. P108, P100, P109. So these three pins over there. On our re, re arm board, we'll reference those pins or, or plug our TMC2130s into those pins. 
Let's see if this compiles. Click on the compile button, save and build. And success, the, um, the dialogue, the building dialogue disappeared. So that means it built successfully. Now to upload it to your SD card, all you have to do is click this upload button and it will then upload it to that file, success, and it disappears. If we have a look at our Realm SD card, it now has a file that says firmware.bin and if you restart your, your Realm board by pressing the reset button, it will come up with a, it will delete the bin file and only have a file that's called firmware underscore current. So that's how I got my TMC 2130s to work on the rear arm board in 32-bit. Um, for more detail on how to get your LCD screen to work and your SD card, please refer to Chris's video that I'll link below and link at the top, and also Alex's videos. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.